Hello and welcome forward to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and if you've been following my channel you will have seen me doing my silicon oil testing and I've got paint left in each of these little pots from my testing and I've been waiting for a time like this that I can experiment with making fake nails. Now fake nails are uh, I'm sure there's plenty of ways of painting them and uh, you know a while ago about almost a year ago actually I did a um, a video on actually using an acrylic skin and gluing it to my nail and cutting it out and um, and then uh, Miriam's Nature did a fantastic version of that and uh, I take my hat off to her professionalism she is amazing so I have had a little tiny go at this I dipped this one and it came out really cool and I thought well I should share this with you guys and I've been wondering how I can do it and I've been thinking about my cabochons and how I've done those and la 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 la, la. anyway long story short what I came up with was getting a toothpick <laughs> getting a piece of um, blue tack, power tack, soft rubber adhesive poster putty, whatever you want to call that stuff we call it blue tack here in New Zealand you could probably even use chewed up chewing gum if you wanted to <laughs> pretty awful but that you could and just making a holder and then I found some old oasis I thought well I can put a tissue over that so that it looks a bit prettier and shove that in there so that's what I'm going to do and I'll be right back with you once I've got all these ready to go Okay, so we're back. We have our two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven pieces there. This, I don't know, I've got ten fingers. It gives me twelve. And you know what? As I was going through, I couldn't actually find a full set that would work on my fingernails, but that's okay. I don't usually wear false nails anyway. <laughs> but I did think if I wanted to have pretty nails, I could have a set of false nails that I could just stick on to cover up my paint laden nails and we could end up with something pretty so I'm just going to move these over to cover up that ugly spot over there now there's two ways I had thought of doing this and I'm going to do pretty much half of them one way and half of them the other and see which one shows up best so the two options that I had was um, dipping, which is how this one was done. And so that's how we ended up with that kind of little coming to a point type thing where it gets back out of the paint. Uh, or actually pouring over the nail. So I'm going to try both. Let's see what happens. And uh, so I'm going to... I don't know, just tip a couple of these out. Now, um, two of them are using, one's olive oil and one's coconut oil. And then we've got the fake oil or the man-made oils of CRC silicon or Jurex Play Lubricant. And uh, we'll just see what they all do, hey? So that one was the CRC, and that one was the coconut oil, I believe. Did I get that right? Yes, I did. Wow. I color-coded my vessels, see. But anyway. <laughs> so let's just give that a quick squirt. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see what I'm doing. 
pretty much doing what I would do with cabochons but you're going to be looking at the under like the painted side rather than yeah anyway you know what I mean when we do cabochons we end up seeing what's here with dipping like this that's not going to be the case so I'm just gonna go in one side and roll making sure we cover the whole lot and voila we have we have an interesting little and we're getting cells so let's put that over to drip and do some more you know what I should have done is I should have poured the first ones and uh, then with what dropped off then do the dipping oh well didn't think of that don't get too close with your torch you might melt your <laughs> no cells as such on that one but that was the coconut oil so I might stick with our silicon because it's definitely a a cellulicious creator autofocus is not being kind to me come on Focus. There we go. I'm liking them. That's for sure. What else have we got? That one's very green. Ooh, and very celled. the edge of that one all right and let's go for that one just one more Funky. Funky and spunky. Alright, so let's have a quick look at what we've got. We've got some pretty cool looking nails there. Looking forward to seeing how they dry. Now, let's see how we go with pouring. I'm going to start off with the bigger ones. Um, so, because the smaller ones, when we get down to very little paint in there, let's see, quite a bit of white coming out the top there. Okay. 
So for those of you that are coming in for the painting false nails, um, I'm using a technique called acrylic pouring and it's what I normally do on my channel. I'm not a nail artist, as you can tell by my fingers. Um, and so check out the previous video. It'll be linked in the end card. as to how I paint and mix my paints. It's a um, good video for that. Woohoo! And also for more information about using silicon to get those funky cells. That is cool. I like that one. But with them being 3D, we never quite know what we're going to end up with in the end because the paint might all just run off and we end up with nothing. <laughs> So I'm just going to show you in there, it starts to get a little bit mixed when you put the pot down, bring it back up, put the pot down, bring it back up. And if you are a nail artist, you're probably mortified to know that it cost me about a dollar for these fake nails. They are cheap. But they're looking fantastic. I like them. Seem to have got the um, focus pretty good. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Now, this is the paint that was mixed with Durex Play lubricant. Um, this is my cell maker of choice. Um, if you go and watch some of my other videos, you'll see it's what I use mostly to create the cells. And hey, you don't have to make cells if you don't like that look. Just pour paint. And here's the last one. And we're going to have to put them aside and let them dry and see what they come out like. I'm intrigued. I'm going to do a bit of a spiral pour. Nope, didn't quite get enough paint. All right. a bit busier. Alright, let's bring you over and so pretty much we've got the dipped ones are on this side and the poured ones are on this side. So let's have a look because the dipped ones have had time to run off. Look at the cell action on that one. Ha! <laughs> That's cool. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing how these come out. Very much looking forward to this. Alright, so you guys don't have to wait long. I'll be back in about three seconds. Your time. 
but it's probably going to be at least a day maybe two days before I get back and these are dry so I'm gonna put a you know one of those net cake covers that you have to keep flies off your food I'm gonna put one of those over this so that the flies don't attack and bombard and do their lovely thing and uh, I'll be back with an update in three two one I interrupt your patience to see the end result by just notice this piece of paint in the pot and I couldn't resist it I'm gonna do a cabochon with it so for those of you that aren't sure what I mean by a cabochon a cabochon is uh, a cut of gem usually but you can buy these um, clear glass ones and they're flat on one side rounded on the other and and I do exactly what I just did with the dipping of the nails but the cool thing is you get to see through the rounded part what you dipped so I've just got it the blue tack on the rounded part with the stick to hold it and I'm just gonna dip into there, pull it out, and, and so that's it peeled off. This is the back. Turn it over and look what we captured. That's what will be seen through the dome. Uh, it's so pretty. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm just going to leave that to dry, dome down, paint up, and I'll show you that when we come back as well. See you soon. Ta-da! These have come up gorgeous. Um, they've pretty much dried exactly as we left them. Let me bring them up and show you. Let's see. Let's get the... Trying to get the focus right. Here we go. So the cool thing about doing false nails, rather than using a skin straight onto your nail, is you know you can use them again and again. And put them on for one one usage Eek. now I have not sealed these this is just the paint that I used it has come out looking as shiny and delicious and I can't even get the silly camera to focus on them I'm shaking put them down Put them down and zoom, Michelle. Let's do it that way. Look at those guys. They're just so pretty. I would definitely wear these. And even if you picked one nail each, each hand, painted the rest a matching colour or a contrasting colour, um, you know. Let's stick this on my thumb. Look at that. That's funky. And then just have the rest blue or green or French manicure or whatever else you want to do. If you think having all of those would be a little bit too much. Um, you know, I've, this one's so simple. Look at this. But it's so look, you just cannot replicate just with a paint, with a sil with a. Obviously, I've only got my blue tack on. Um, but how would that look? You know, it's like. 
and yes you could definitely seal it you could use either your normal varnish seal or put coats of your um, what's those things called I'm going to put that one on there and um, put coats of uh, clear varnish clear, clear nail polish need a little one so there you go guys just another fun thing you can do with your leftover paint um, if you've made yourself so many pendants you can't do anything else start buying um, fake nails and painting over them hey how is that? That's funky. I love it. Oh, 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 I just remembered the pendant. Look at this. This is so pretty. I like it a lot. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So what could I do with this? Mm. How much fun could I have? There's a little bit of paint still stuck on there. Get off that. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so... i tell you what, it's definitely different than painting my nails that way. <laughs> okay guys, so super grateful for all of you joining me for this play uh, session uh, if you have enjoyed my sense of humor my point of view uh, or what I'm doing with paint please hit the subscribe button come and join me for more in the upcoming days weeks months years definitely won't be doing nails again for a while but uh, who knows, I may be inspired. Hee <laughs> That's so fun. I like that. And if you're doing fun things with paint, or you want to be inspired by other people that are having doing fun things with acrylic pouring, come join us on the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. Uh, lots of fun people doing fun things with pouring paint. Oh, I'm so not used to having fake nails. <laughs> That's so weird. Definitely something you have to get used to, isn't it? Oh, how does it get any better than that? Um, and what else is possible? What else can you choose? And uh, how much more fun can you have? I adore you all for watching and I'd love you to come and join me on future videos. So hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you again super soon. Bye-bye.